New at six more than three decades ago today, history was made here in Virginia. Doug Wilder was sworn in as the first black governor in the United States. Philip Townsend takes us back to 1990 for the sights and sounds of that historic day. Your hand on the family Bible. A monumental day, January 13th, 1990, 33 years ago Friday. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It was the day Douglas Wilder was sworn in, becoming the 66th governor of Virginia. But the day would go down in history as something much bigger. Never before had so many people shown up to see a Virginia governor sworn in, but never before had a black person been elected governor. Not in this state, not anywhere. It's simply impossible to underestimate the importance of this day to black Americans and black Virginians. These folks arrived literally at the crack of dawn, some from as far away as California. Standing in the shadows of a Confederate general, supporters of Governor Wilder stood with pride, filled with joy as he became the first black governor in United States history. As the minority, I feel as though it's an honor. Born into a segregated neighborhood in Richmond, Wilder would go on to become a Korean War vet, attorney, state senator, lieutenant governor, and later mayor of Richmond. But it is this day in history, January 13, 1990, that remains one of his biggest accomplishments. Not just the oath of office, but the promise of hope. By uh, being here today, I can see that my, my grandchildren will have a chance to be anything they want to be. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Wilder is now a professor of public policy at the Douglas L. Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs at VCU in Richmond.